Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's worthy. Holy hand. Distinguished clergy, I welcome you all on behalf of the President of the Republic to Jubilee House, the seat of government for this important prayer breakfast. With the President this morning, I have the Honorable Chief of Staff, the Presidential Coordinator for Canaveral Virus, Dr. Anefi Asamwaba, and I have the Presidential Advisor on Health, Dr. Anthony Nsiyasari. I believe the Minister of Health is yet to join us. I'll now call the President for his remarks. Mr. President. Fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you to your home, Jubilee House, the seat of our nation's presidency. And I want to begin by expressing my sincerest gratitude to you for honoring this invitation. Eminent clergy, I respectfully ask for your presence for two reasons. All of us are aware of the havoc the coronavirus pandemic is wrecking across the world. It is changing our very lives as we know it and is leaving in its wake deaths and economic difficulties and is spreading fear and panic throughout the world. The World Health Organization, WHO, tells us that some 180,000 infections and some 7,000 deaths have been recorded from this pandemic. We also learned sadly on Wednesday the three Ghanaians living abroad have lost their lives as a result. With nine confirmed cases of infections, we might count ourselves as being amongst the countries least hit by the coronavirus. Nonetheless, the rapid spread of the disease across the world has led us to institute a number of measures to help ensure that our nation is adequately prepared to combat the spread of the pandemic on our shores. I made my first broadcast on the matter in this regard on Wednesday, 11th March. On Sunday, 15th March, five days later, in the second broadcast, I announced a raft of enhanced measures, which included the suspension of public gatherings, such as unfortunately church services, to confront the pandemic. Prior to this announcing this decision, I informed many of you around this table of the impending decision of the measures from all and sundry, including those I could not inform because of the exigencies of time. With the exception of that one incident yesterday in North Centresu and Kumasi in the Ashanti region, these measures have been adhered to. So on behalf of government and the people of Ghana, I want to put on record my deep appreciation to you and the entire Christian community across the country for this gesture of solidarity. I'm hopeful 
that the state and the church will continually find ways to collaborate for the good of Mother Ghana and for the improved welfare of the citizenry. I have also to put on record my equally deep appreciation of the support offered by the Muslim clergy, led by the chief imam, Sheikh Dr. Osman Nuhu Sharabatu, the nation's political leaders, traditional authorities, great and small, and opinion leaders for the measures taken by government. I mean, clergy, yes, we're screening all persons at our points of entry, with ineligible persons being refused entry. Yes, we've designated quarantine, isolation, and treatment centers for holding suspected cases. Yes, we have suspended all public gatherings, including those at nightclubs. Yes, we have closed down all schools until further notice. Yes, we have issued tribal advisories. And yes, we have urged all Ghanaians to observe prescribed social distancing and enhanced hygiene protocols, which happily they are doing. But as a Christian, a devout one of that, I know the healing power and saving grace of the maker of heaven and earth, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because in him we live, move, and have our being. The words of Holy Scripture in Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, tells us, and I quote, Those who may know your name, trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. The Bible tells us again in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, that, and I quote, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forget their sin and heal their land. I'm always a little bashful about quoting the Bible in the presence of renowned priests. But I take comfort in the fact that the one thing that unites all of us Christians is that the Bible belongs to each one of us. These are not ordinary times and eminent clergy. And in such times, a country whose population is predominantly Christian must seek the face of the one true God for healing and restoration. So I humbly called you to this prayer meeting for us to join together and pray to Almighty God to protect our nation, heal this land, and save us from this pandemic. In doing so, we're also putting into practice the, whole, the words of Holy Scripture in James chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. And I quote, Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. I'm confident that this morning's prayer, which will be offered in faith, will help heal our nation and will help raise Ghana up. And I believe profoundly that we, the Ghanaian people, with our faith in the Almighty, will overcome this challenge. This too will pass. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, we'll now continue with the prayer topics. We'll start with the prayer against the spread of the coronavirus pandemic in Ghana. I'll call on the Archbishop John Bonaventure Kofi. May I humbly ask you to rise? <clears throat> Gracious 
and Almighty Father, it has never been known that anyone who comes to you in faith, in hope, is gone back unaided. You have always listened to the cry of your people and have responded in your own way. Your sons and daughters have met this morning because of our faith in you. We know you can do it because you have done it before. We are ravaged by this coronavirus and your sons and daughters live in panic and in fear and anxiety. But you know, you are always there to take us out of this pandemic. Show your face to us. Raise your hand against the devil, against the enemy. Set us free from this pandemic. Many have lost their lives. Many are on the sick bed. Many go out and in, afraid of the other. Lord, show your face. Free our land and heal us. And let us stand always to praise you. Give knowledge, infuse knowledge in our doctors and medical experts to find a remedy and as soon as possible to free your people. Those who are being attended to and those who are giving attention, Lord, let your grace over, uh, overwhelm them, envelop them, so that in all you will see your hand at work. May this not last on our land. Let us live to praise you. You pray in the name of Christ Jesus, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We'll continue with the prayer for frontline health workers in the fight against the pandemic. The Right Reverend Professor J. O. Y. Manti. Yang a bank a Hallelujah. Yang a bank a Affliction furnace and passing through the fire. Thy love we praise, which knows our days and ever brings us nigher. We still lift our hearts and hands exulting in thine almighty favor. We know, o God, that the love divine which made us die shall keep us dying forever. Lord, we are not living in normal times in Ghana, but we know that you are the God who specializes in crisis situations. It is in times like these when you demonstrate more of your presence and glory. We remember those days when Israel was in crisis, crashed between the Egyptian army and the Red Sea. At that time, Lord, you glorified yourself. Yes. We also remember those days when Israel was crushed by the intimidation of Goliath, the giant. At that time, you glorified yourself. Lord, glorify yourself again. Lord, glorify yourself again. We are gathered here as leaders of church and government to ask you, Lord, to glorify yourself again. Lord, we confess that we are at our wit's end and we really need your help. Please let heaven speak on our behalf today. Lord, let heaven speak on our behalf today. Lord, let heaven speak 
on behalf of Ghana today. When the leadership of government, the leadership of your church have gathered together, let heaven speak and speak loudly. Amen. We pray at this time for all our health personnel who have put their lives on line to help curb and reduce this coronavirus pandemic in our world. Lord, please keep an eye on them for us to protect them as they go about their duties. We remember those nurses and attendants who clean up after those who have been infected by the virus. Lord, please, they are in danger zones. Please protect them all Amen. from this dangerous virus in the name of Jesus and give them the additional love and compassion to do their work well. We pray for the lab technicians who test people and all those whose jobs are online at this time. Please protect and guide them for us. We pray for scientists who are working hard to even try to find antiviral solutions. Lord, give them special breakthrough with speed, yes. with the speed of Elijah, yes. in the name of Jesus. Lord, your children are desperate now. Give us the peace and calmness to hold on to the faith that you are always Lord and you are still on the throne. You will never leave your throne. Mm. Let your peace, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds steady on you, Lord, even now and evermore knowing that this shall pass, and shall pass with speed, and shall pass with speed, and shall pass with speed, in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. We all pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Prayer for the victims, infected persons, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, please. Yehovah, <laughs> To me, yeah, what did I To me, yeah, what did I So full, yeah, what I and everlasting Father. This morning we praise your great name. You are the great king among all the gods. You hold the depths of the earth and the highest mountains in your hands. There is none that can be compared unto you. You are a great God. We as a people, O oh God, want to give you thanks for we aren't better than the nations that have been hard hit. So far, you have dealt graciously with us. And to this we say, Father, we thank you. We bless your great name. You have been good to us. Now, dear Lord, we pray for the nine people who have already com been compromised. We ask in the name of Jesus that you heal them. Amen. That you heal them, O oh Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you not the God who forgives our sins and heals all our diseases? Are you not the God who framed and fashioned us? Were you not the God who healed lepers in your day? Were you not the God who raised the Lazarus from death? Can't you do it today? Show forth your hands, Lord. Let Ghana know that within us is the almighty God. Father, stretch forth your hand and bring healing to these ones that have been infested. In the name of Jesus breathe into their nostrils and let their lungs receive healing breathe into their nostrils lord and grant their lungs healing quicken their body once more and let it be that we shall have a cause to bless your holy name in your name you hear and you answer 
We are standing here, O oh God, in this great house of our nation. And we lift up hands unto you. Hear from above your, head, your dwelling place. Amen. Prayer for the government, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. your power is not limited to any generation or to any people. First of all, we want to thank you for past victories. We want to give thanks for the things you've done and for the things you pull out by us and how you spared us as a people, a nation, and a government. And you kept it away from our bodies, not because we are better or we're better than our neighbors, but because you chose to show us mercy. For as it is written, I will have mercy on whom I will. For it's not to him that willeth nor him that runneth, but that God that showeth mercy. Esau have I hated and Jacob have I loved. That is your discretion, because you are God all by yourself, and you do what pleases you. Once again, we are confronted with another situation, a deadly virus, the coronavirus, taking lives, putting fear in the hearts of the leaders of nations, in families and in community cities of the nations of our world. We lift up prayer standing at the seat of power today. From the team prayer in that name that is above every other name. For it is written at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue recognize that at the mention of the name of Jesus. For whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be delivered. And so we call upon the name of that for a stubborn determination, courage. To withstand these difficult times that they will have advanced knowledge and wisdom above their years to skillfully, wisely, and in government that in their time the vicious cycle that has prevailed from one government to another government, the, the bitterness and the unforgiveness, the retaliation among others that broke that vicious cycle. And that this situation that conflict in our government, the love that is required for country and for one another and for the citizen, the compassion that is so needed in times like this. Thank you, Father. We pray that you will be their guide and their shield. That there will be no loss of any life in government. That no one in government will be a victim of this virus. That no one in government will be a casualty. That you shall preserve, protect, and empower them with the necessary capabilities that which is required for them to perform their duty for which you have made them a government 
under the leadership of the president, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. The kingdom come, that will be done. And may we all be here when this deadly virus disappears from the face of the earth to give thanks and to celebrate your delivering power, your mercies and your goodness that has abound to our government and the people of Ghana. These things we pray and ask for. In the name of he who died, rose on the third day, and ascended above all the heavens, even Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the President of the Republic by the Right Reverend Asante Entry. So we continue. The prayers. On this day, this year, 63 years of Ghana's independence. Well, at the times of old, you chose Moses, you chose David, and then you chose our Lord Jesus Christ with unique leadership qualities. We are conscious of the fact with rare quality leadership to lead this nation. And so for that, we thank you. We read from the good book, passages from Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, showing the quality of leadership in times of crisis. And so we thank you for the leadership of Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Leadership based on rules, on regulations, on laws to guide people. And for that, we thank you for the life of Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Mm -hmm. For the ups and downs, we thank you for the life of Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Yes. Yes. And he tells us that there's no isolation in this world. What affects the East affects the West. Mm -hmm. The North affects the South, and so on and so forth. So in this time of crisis, we thank you mm. for the life of Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Mm. Continue to give him the courage mm. to take certain bold decisions, decisions that will be for the good of the people of Ghana. That's yes, Lord. We thank you for those who will be implementing the various decisions so that they will support him to implement the decisions that will deal with this COVID-19 pandemic. On this day, we thank you for laws that are going to help us in dealing with the health situation in this country, our education, even in our worship, in our funerals, and so on and so forth. We thank you for the insight. The last but not the least, we are conscious of the fact that this is a period of Lent. Continue to give him that spirit of prayers reflection, meditation, to guide this nation. And above all, as we look up to the cross, with the sign of our salvation, let him see that, that he has to carry it, because we want him to become victorious. And so today, on the 19th of March, the year 2020, we thank you 
for his bold leadership mm. for this nation and beyond it. Amen. Amen. Prayer for Ghana. Reverend Joyce Ayi. Captain of Israel's host and guide. Oh, oh seek the, the land of God. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that we can come to you in times of crisis. And we are so grateful that we have confidence in coming because we are going to ask our petitions according to your will. And that you will hear us and you will grant us what we are asking for. And so we come as a nation from the north to the south, from the east to the west. We are gathered here in your presence. And we are saying, Lord, this coronavirus pandemic is too big for us. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Yes, Lord. Just like Jehoshaphat said. Yes, Lord. And Lord, you spoke and you said, this too is a battle that is not yours. It is mine, says the Lord. But Lord, you said they should go out and face the enemy. And thank you that through our president, you have enabled the whole of Ghana to go out and face the enemy by the things you've taught us. Not only hand washing, not only using uh, gels and so on to cover us, but also keeping our distance from one another, not meeting in large crowds. We are facing the enemy with the confidence that we have that when you speak, things happen. Yes. And indeed, in the case of Jehoshaphat, you caused the enemy to rise against themselves. And victory became so secure. And Lord, they gathered so much booty that they didn't even know what to do. Our economy is affected. Lord, Homes are affected. Businesses are affected. And so this nation needs you, O oh Lord, to fight on our behalf. Yes. You told Jehoshaphat to stand still and know the victory. Yes. We too, we are standing still in our spirits to see the victory you will win for us. But just as you did not leave them idle, so we too will not be idle. Each one of us will do what is required to win the total victory. Lord, you have never disappointed. Nor will you do it this time. So Lord, we stand 
in the gap for Ghana. And we said the whole nation will come out of this thing stronger than before, more united than before. Oh Lord, we will see ourselves as one nation with a common destiny, worshiping you, the eternal God, through Jesus Christ, whom to know is eternal life. Father, you who hear prayer, we come and we say, Lord, hear our prayer and let our cries come unto you because we pray in no other name than the name that is above all names, oh, yes. even Jesus Christ, your son and our risen Lord and Savior with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the world. The Reverend Eastwood Anaba. Oni yanedi nuye. Oni yanedi nuye. Nyami tufu. Oni yanedi nuye. Nyami tufu. Oni yanedi nuye. Everlasting Father, we ask now. We pray unto you, our God, for your mercy and the demonstration of your power. We pray in the name of Jesus for the civil, secular powers you, you are put in the world. Give unto them wisdom and courage. We pray for the ecclesiastical powers that you have instituted on the earth. Grant unto them supernatural insight and release upon them divine power. It is your word that said in the book of Revelation 11, the verse number 6, that unto the two witnesses you gave power to shut the heavens that it would not rain. And you granted unto them also the power to turn waters into blood. You also gave them the power to bring upon the earth plagues as often as they would. And if they could bring down plagues, and if they can bring down plagues, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will anoint the ecclesiastical powers and unctions around the world, those that are called men of God, those that are called women of God, those that are called children of God, for the earnest expectation of the creature awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. And we ask in the name of Jesus that the sons of God will be manifested. That power will be given unto us. If the two witnesses had power to bring plagues upon the earth, we pray that you will anoint our spirits, anoint our minds, anoint, O oh God, the mouths of the ecclesiastical powers on earth to remove this plague from the earth. What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth is also loose in heaven. We shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. So we pray, dear Father, for courage to come into the corridors of the church, into the corridors of the kingdom of God. Right now we ask in the name of Jesus for the manifestation of the sons of light. We also ask, dear Father, in Jesus' name, for our scientists around the whole world. Give unto them knowledge and force speed behind them. That, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, remedies will be found, yes. and quickly also. We pray in the name of Jesus for nature. We pray for the skies, the sea, the ground, the heavens, the waters, that nature will unite to resist this virus, yes. but not to cooperate with the virus. We pray that the elements of nature, the substances of nature, even the air of nature will rise up and fight against this virus. And we pray nature will not cooperate with it. We ask that the economies of the world will be resilient, robust, 
and viable enough to withstand the virus. Father, we pray for families. We ask in the name of Jesus that on our doorpost will be the blood of the Lamb. And when the angel of destruction shall come, he will pass over. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, let God decree from heaven upon this virus, it is enough. It is enough. We ask that this plague will stop. Let heaven stop it. And on earth, we agree with heaven that what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth is loose in heaven. Eternal Father, unto you be glory and honor. We ask in the name of Jesus that the world will be empowered to win this battle and you receive the glory. Unto you be glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Rejoice and praise the Lord. My soul, my soul, rejoice. Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth from death, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. I'll invite the right Reverend Paul Waffle for the benediction. To God our help be made this fast. Who has been our hope for the years to come? We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. For our existence, for our creation, for us as a nation, for us as your people. Herein gathered are your sons and daughters who know you by your name, the name that is above all, the name that heals, the name that conquers, the name that delivers, the name that brings healing unto people. Lord, we cry unto you and ask that you will be the God who will go before your people. You will be the God who will cover our defenseless hurts. You will be the God who will be with us in these times of crisis. We know you as the God who speaks and the dead receive new life. And that is why we call on you, the God who brings blessings unto your people. And so as a nation, we are gathered, lifting high holy hands unto you and crying unto you, our God, the God who has been with us all these years, the God who has been with us who was with our fathers and our mothers. We have known you to be the God who accompanies. And so in these times, we ask for your blessings. And so unto this God, who breathes unto the dry bones to have new life, we commit our nation, Ghana. Unto this God, who heals his people, we commit our nation, Ghana. Unto this God who goes before his people and grants them deliverance and conquest mm -hmm. on their behalf, we commit this nation. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May his goodness and may his mercies 
follow us all the days are heard and may we see him as the God who delivered us because he is in our boat we will smile at the storm in which we find ourselves Lord speak Lord speak Lord speak now unto us may his blessings be upon us now and forevermore Amen Amen. Yes. Please. Please be seated. My Savior is me. And for my beliefs, will soon be happy. My credit is With Christ in that vessel. I smile at the storm. Um, members of the media, I don't think the Ghanaian people.